So yeah, Be Minimalist have also launched their peptide serum and I was so excited to have my hands on that. But when I saw their formula, they have 7% matrix cell which is very good. As I told you, it is very good for fine lines, wrinkles, anti-aging. But then they have 3% bioplacenta. Bioplacenta is also known as the EGF that is epidermal growth factor. They are known to regenerate your epidermal cells. So if you have scarring or pigmentation or damage due to sun the cells may have the problem in regenerating so it may help out in that and they are known to be an excellent wound healer when taken orally or in nutrition they are excellent in wound healing but the problem with the bio placenta is that the molecules are so big that they won't be able to penetrate into our skin and does that good work that it claims to do so they may act as a humectant sit into our skin and draw the moisture from the environment and they may even act as a barrier to our skin so it is good even if they are not going deep into our skin it is known to help in skin regeneration but the major controversy around this 3% bio placenta is that how they don't know the difference between the good cells and the bad cells like they are going to regenerate the good cells and give you that healthy plumpy glowy and good feeling to your skin like you have got a new skin but if you have a bad cells like if someone is suffering from a skin cancer or if someone is having a skin tags like warts moles then they may even spread that it may be riskier to them because they are an epidermal growth factor they are growth factor they will grow and spread and there are lack of scientific research and data on how they will act on such people like i have skin tag here and i know for sure that it's not for me so i am completely avoiding it for now see i am not saying this product is bad i am saying this product is not for me as i have the skin tag please click like and subscribe